It takes me about six years to do a sculpture. Six years to do one. So I, I try to work on it daily, but sometimes Mother Nature tells me what I'm going to be doing. I was born and raised in Region North Dakota. Uh, when I was growing up, my dad would, ran the elevator and was a farmer. And uh, I just went to school as normal kids do. Graduated from high school, decided that I would go to college. I then was in education for roughly around 18 years. Was looking for the different job. I came home and I saw that the town of Region was dying. And that's when I started figuring, how can I help Regent stay alive? And I came up with the Enchanted Highway. Had no art experience, no, uh, no welding experience. Okay, long and short of it, the first sculpture I did was the world's largest tin family. You'll see the tin family is all made out of tanks. Oil well tanks make up the body, fuel tanks make up the legs and arms, and somebody gave me some green paint for the boy. I thought, well, green and yellow would be a perfect color for the boy's shirt. Not realizing green and yellow uh, is uh, the Green Bay Packers. Most of North Dakota is Vikings fans. So I get grief on that one all the time uh, because I painted them the wrong color. There's citizens in region that uh, don't believe in the project, uh, feel it hasn't helped or it, whatever. But regardless, uh, I know it's helped. And, and, and they always say that you're not accepted in your own community. So that to me uh, will always be. And now, pheasants on the prairie. My sculptures are all made out of uh, reusable metal. I don't use uh, new metal and I usually go to a junkyard, get beams, get whatever I can get, take it from there, flatten it out with a tractor and that's where I get most of my metal. I don't have a shop. Uh, everything I build is so large that I can't, I can't, I don't have a shop big enough. This is the knight here. He'll be about 40 some feet tall. He's standing here, there's his body, there's his legs, there's a seat. Then over here is the head of the knight. The knight will be holding a 30 foot sword. You're seeing it covered with snow, so I work out in the snow and the rain and whatever I gotta do. Goes all the way to here, there's a sword, goes all the way to here, goes all the way. And you got a 30 foot sword. Okay, the Enchanted Castle, the reason I decided to start that was because I figured at the end of the Enchanted Highway we need to have a hotel. And I went to banks and said, let me, would you loan me money to build a hotel? And they laughed at me. And I don't blame them because they said, we're not gonna build a hotel in region North Dakota, a town of 100 people. Long and short of it, the school then came up for bids. This used to be the old high school. I started teaching, I started here, I was not teaching, I was playground supervisor, annual staff advisor, bus driver when I started here, but I did graduate from here. This was the superintendent's office, principal's office. This is the high school gymnasium. It's got two eight-man hot tubs in the, in the locker room. Why the medieval theme? Everybody in town sort of wanted to stay as a school theme. I felt that didn't tie in with the Enchanted Highway. What ties in with the Enchanted Highway besides a castle? Okay, in North Dakota, I felt it couldn't be a Disneyland castle, but a medieval castle would fit the area of the North Dakota that we have. This is right where I sat when I graduated from high school. When I graduated, I was 18 years old, 
thinking, well, I can't wait to get out to a party, to get out of school, get out of this school, and never once thinking that I would ever, ever, ever turn it into a tavern. Closing words is to, is to come into a uh, region and then Chanet Highway and basically see what one man that never laid a bead of weld in his life, never had an art class, if one man can do this, it's proof that you, that you can do whatever you set your mind to do.